We haven't seen the next guy in the WB since around the time of Survivor Series. Sheamus was one of the guys that was all set to fight up against the Authority. Of course, Sheamus is always itching to find himself in a fight um, with Team Cena taking on the Authority. Uh, shortly before this, it was the last backstage pass. And one of the best things that WWE Network has ever done was the um, exclusive match after Raw ended was a turn on the WWE Network. See the United States Championship match between Rusev and Sheamus. Sheamus, one of the uh, the biggest stars in the WWE, and uh, Rusev, one of the up-and-comers, uh, undefeated at this point, challenging for the United States Championship. I honestly thought this was a match just to build up to a fight that was going to happen at Survivor Series. Uh, but they ended up doing the actual title change, actually showing you that anything could happen on the WWE Network. And to make sure anytime there's a match, make sure you go to where to do this. Well, for some reason, WWE Network hasn't gone back to this gimmick. This is something that easily uh, they could be using at least once a month uh, to make it, uh, let it, let it be well known that the uh, WWE Network is not to be messed with. Uh, but then the next week on Monday Night Raw, Sheamus was attacked by Rusev and Mark Henry and slammed through the announce table. This was basically to take him off of the Survivor Series where it was uh, reported and uh, also semi-reported that Sheamus was taking t time off the heel for an injury. Some people said this was storyline. Some people said it wasn't storyline. But here we are counting down the days to the Royal Rumble in late January and Sheamus hasn't been seen in months. Maybe Sheamus was just taking some time off since he's been uh, very active in the WWE for a good amount of time and uh, he hasn't really had time off uh, in a long time. Uh, Sheamus did a interview um, with the uh, YouTube or WWE Network people after Monday Night Raw went after, uh, off the air uh, basically saying that uh, he's itching to get back on television, he's itching to get into a fight. However, the doctors have not medically cleared him to compete I don't understand why Sheamus would do this interview if Sheamus was not going to be a surprise entrant in the Royal Rumble. Uh, Sheamus had uh, very easy to notice he had longer facial hair at this time, um, although he was still uh, all dressed up to the nines like he was looking like Conor McGregor uh, coming off his big UFC fight at uh, Fight Night 59. Um, Sheamus, I, I, I don't know. There's been reports basically where, you know, WWE wanted to make Sheamus the number one face of the company, uh, where he would push John Cena out of there. Uh, but at the same time, they really weren't able to get any storylines behind John, uh, behind Sheamus to really push him to the top anywhere. Um, I really do see Sheamus, Sheamus coming into the Royal Rumble. I give Sheamus a very small chance of actually winning the Rumble. I wouldn't even put a dollar on it if it came down to it. Um, but uh, Sheamus is always going to be a star. They're always going to make sure that he's uh, in there. I, I wouldn't pick him to, to finish in my, um, you know, my uh, in my bottom four, final four, whatever you want to call it. But I would bet money that Sheamus is going to be making a special return at the Royal Rumble, and uh, hopefully it'll be something that we want to remember from here on out.